happened at that time was that for, to accommodate them, the only temporary article of the constitution was drafted. Okay, I underline this, the only temporary article. Uh, this was what today we call Article 370. At that point, it was uh, numbered Article 306A. Now, immediately after that article was, the constitution was adopted, you had a series of presidential proclamations under that article, which started aligning the state. Okay. Uh, in the last 70 years, you had 54 of these presidential proclamations. But here's what went wrong. Uh, the presidential proclamations were very rapid in the initial years, but as uh, you know, there was a climate of intimidation and separatism in Kashmir, they started to dry up. They started to dry up because the state politics was now you know, uh, people found that there was an arbitraging possibility using the separate, you know, the, the 370 article, because 370 essentially uh, mandated, uh, you know, one of the consequences of 370 was you had local ownership of property. Uh, you had, uh, you know, which was a provision of another provision of the constitution called 35A. Uh, and there were restrictions in many ways of what would be normal economic activity in the state. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, over a period of time, you had really three consequences. Uh, number one, you didn't have the economic activity and economic energy in Kashmir, in Jammu and Kashmir, that you had in the rest of India, which meant less jobs, less job opportunities, more sense of alienation, a sense of separatism, and therefore a climate for terrorism from across the border. The second was that the, the, the state was, in socio-economic terms, increasingly uh, less aligned with India. So if you look at all the progressive legislation of India, they did not apply to Kashmir because whenever you drafted a law in India, uh, pretty much, you know, clause two or clause three of that law would say, but this law is not applicable to the state of Jammu and Kashmir. So what you had was you didn't have right to work, you didn't have right to education, you didn't have right to information. You did not have affirmative action. Uh, you did not have uh, the law against domestic violence. You didn't have uh, law on representation of women in local bodies. You didn't have equal, uh, you know, property laws between uh, men and women. You didn't have juvenile protection law. So uh, I can cite to you at least about a hundred important laws which did not apply to Jammu and Kashmir. Now, one was a political consequence. The uh, economic consequence, the second was a social consequence. But one and two really led to three, and that was a political consequence. Because what all of this it did was, it allowed really a, a sort of a narrow elite to arbitrage this 370, to monopolize uh, political power, to create a, a sort of a, a closed loop politics. And they had a vested interest in create, keeping alive separatist sentiment. Uh, so, and you had actually a situation where separatist political parties were openly allied with terrorist groups operating out of Pakistan. Now, here's the choice which the government faced. When we came back to power this May and did a Kashmir review, there were two choices. One was you had a set of policies which were on the books for 70 years but for the last 40 years, they were visibly not working. And by the way, when I say visibly not working, that meant in the last 30 years, 42,000 people got killed. The fact that the level of intimidation had reached uh, a height where you had senior police officers lynched on the streets of Srinagar. You had journalists who wrote against separatism who were assassinated. You had military uh, uh, military personnel returning home for Eid who were kidnapped and killed. So, you know, uh, pre-August 5, uh, please remember this, pre-August 5, Kashmir was in a mess. I mean, the difficulties in Kashmir have not started on August 5. August 5 is supposed to be a way of dealing with those difficulties. So the choices were either you continue what was clearly not working or you tried something very different. And I think the decision was to try something very different.